Mackenzie Critiques, Mackenzie Dick Red's favourite anime. Welcome to another double live reaction to Avatar Book 3. This is episode 7 and 8. Man, episode 6, top 3 episodes for me, man. That was. It just, it just gave you information you didn't think you you wanted. You didn't think you wanted, but when you got it, you're like, fuck, this really, really does enrich the fucking show, man. I, didn't, I thought. Roku, like, are we still talking about Roku? And we fucking found out just how intimately linked he is to these characters and everything. I thought fucking all the swords and stuff was amazing. I thought the parallels were, were amazing with what's going on now. So let's get into this fucking great and see how it goes. After that bombshell, was, it's interesting to see how this show handles things. Because usually you expect the show to go one way. Like, now that you drop that bombshell, everything stakes, 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 serious, serious. But you can still have a nice episodic in there. Let's see how it goes. Avatar Book 3, Episode 7. Come on. Always greatness. Never a, never a, a sour note Only in this show. Master of all four elements could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. <laughs> a hundred years passed and my brother and I discovered the Do you guys like the fact that they stuck to this opening throughout all seasons or would you have preferred they changed it? I like it though, it becomes memorable. But to account for the changes, I think it should have changed it, which is something sometimes anime does. You've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. Bullshit. Look here, sugar queen. <laughs> sugar queen. I'm sorry. So that I'm I can sorry. teach Aang earthbending. So don't you talk to me about being selfish. <laughs> the Avatar is alive. I want you to find him. Fuck, man. This guy's going to be a, f a four star this season. It's crazy. How could be the guy who blows things up with his mind? can't. The runaway. Fuck. God damn, God damn. Look at the idol they built. <laughs> oh shit. How we got ourselves here? You betrayed me! What? This on yourself. I had no choice. What? What's going on? What is Katara doing? What the fuck? Jeez! Ah man, this new look of theirs, man, so good. Okay, I'm ready for some training. <laughs> How these guys are matured. Oh wow, man! I love it. He's employing her disciplines. Awesome. <laughs> Look at him. Look at her man. Good job, Twinkle Toes. Damn. Visualize, then attack. Look how fucking uh, adept he is. Maybe you should take your own advice, Toph. What's the matter? Stay <laughs> some dirt, Madam Fussy Bridges. Wow. They really, like, you'd think that they'd get along, but... Sword, man. Where your sword at? <laughs> this is why it's for the best. That's, she never had a sister in the family. I thought we were supposed to be training me. And she's probably not even used to having a younger sister around. Type. <laughs> Toph is one of the guys, man. Seriously. <laughs> Toph. Look at all those messenger hawks. You know, I've been thinking about getting one for myself. 
What? That way, I wouldn't have to talk to anyone. I could just send them messages. All right. I gotta say, I like the idea of not talking to you. Do you want to start shitting to send that again? Fucking silver, huh? Right there. Ha <laughs> a bit of corn artistry. This is where you see people are at a disadvantage. Everyone guesses wrong because the dealer moves rock at the last minute. I love how this ties into too well. with my earth bank. There's one episode I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't gamble, fam. It's a sin. <laughs> you there. Want to play a friendly game? How can you possibly play? She'll I'm see not. through right through him. Nah, nah, she'll see right through him. She'll be able to detect through vibrations. <laughs> Subtle vibrations. The guy's probably, yeah, slight of hand shit. She knows. Wow. <laughs> Lady Yo <Yota. laughs> wow. Fancy guessing. You are amazing at this. Would you like to make the game a little amazing after one turn? <laughs> More interesting. Well, let's say you toss in your friend's fine sword there. Oh then no! Put up twenty silver pieces. Not that sword. And that's more interesting. I'll put Fuck. Forty silver pieces. <laughs> forty silver pieces it is. Fuck it, huh? Fuck's sake! Look at that. Oh wow, that's awesome, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Sorry, little lady, but Yup. Huh? Yup. Yup, you don't fuck around, man. You're tough. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. You have full bellies for once. Man, Katara's looking nice, man. Pop got us money. She scams one of those guys in town who moves the shells around all sneaky. This is gonna make her feel inadequate, watch. She used earth bending to win the game. Classic. Ah, so she cheated. Cheated. Hey, she got all your food, huh? Because he was cheating. I cheated a cheater. What's wrong with that? I'm just saying. I like how amoral she is. make a habit of doing. Why? Because it's fun and you hate fun? I hate fun. See? Fun. Wow. See, <laughs> I'll personally make you an avatar promise that we won't make a habit of doing these scams. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> what is it, snatched? <laughs> so much for that. Scamming the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> they have no clue. They underestimate it because of a tiny ass fucking frame. You know what I was saying? What kind of tonal episode are we gonna get? This one. It's straight into. Uh, I love it. What the fuck is that? Horse mixed with a some some reptile with fin. Like. What the fuck? <laughs> This is awesome, man. The soccer, man. Yeah, you blatantly tell that soccer, man. <laughs> soccer and his beard. Beard disguises, man. Wait, because two jokes. Scams have gone far enough. If you keep doing them, something bad is going to happen. Could you for once stop being such a sourpuss and just lighten up? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. You think I should be more like you? Like some wild child? Yeah, maybe. Maybe then you'd see how great we have it. I mean, look at us. Katara's so earnest. Making easy money, having fun. 
with no parents to tell us what to do. Ah. <laughs> I like that she wears shoes, but the soles are gone. Your parents. Whatever. They were controlling wow. over you, so you ran away, and now you act like your parents don't exist. Fuck. You act like you hate them, but you don't. You just feel guilty. I do. I don't think so. Yeah. I think you miss them, but you just don't want to deal with that. So instead, you act like this crazy person. Look, what? I ran away to help A. You know what? It does. These scams put us all at risk, and we don't need that. We've already got some third-eyed freak after us. <laughs> I'm not, she's not wrong. I think I've come up with a name for him. What do you think of Sparky Sparky Boom Man? <laughs> Just think about it. What is his name? Enough money. You need to stop this. I'll stop when I want to stop and not when you tell me. Oh shit. Fuck's sake, man. She does need a little bit of discipline. Like, of all the, the least disciplined, in my opinion, is of money, tough. I'm off to spend some. She's she young, man. Uh, Ang's had to grow up really fast. Hockey, welcome to Team Avatar. My name's Sokka, and I'm your new owner. And as such, I should warn you that there's already a lemur in our group, so I don't want to <laughs> see any fighting. Animals really take off to Sokka, man. Like, who is this guy? Like, they speak to fucking animals. <laughs> That's a nice rendition of the right, um, recreation of her face. <laughs> Yeah, you better shit yourself, huh? Tom, Fuck I'm sake. Town, I found something that you're not gonna like. She's stacking coins, huh? It sounds like a sheet of paper, but I guess you're referring to what's on That is such a great it's chibi a version of a of you. face. They've nicknamed you The Runaway. The a runaway. wanted poster! That's so great! The Runaway. I love my new nickname. Her parents wouldn't have stopped hunting her, man. Like, getting her back, man. Shit. Well, yeah, actually, it does look pretty good. Yeah, it does. You're missing the point. Maybe Katara was right. These scams are drawing too much attention to us. Don't be such a worry wart like your sister. Stick with it this way. Now you have plenty of money to help with the plans. Well, that is true. I had this idea of making armor for Appa. Here's a little extra, so you can get yourself a nice map of the Fire Nation. <laughs> you know what? Make it nice. Who's the sugar queen now? Like I like that intro. Who's the sugar queen now? And that's why this wanted poster sugar mama. is going to say our little secrets. <laughs> Sokka, tell me you didn't buy a bird. Not just a bird, a messenger bird. It suits him though, man. messages all over the world, even to Grand Grand. So, he's got Falcon. How does it work? Uh, I never actually thought about that. <laughs> Grand Grand, South Pole. I think he gets it. You gotta teach it your own way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Momo Sama. I love the utility. Where have you two been? Off scamming again? Yes, we were. And I suppose you don't think what you're doing is dangerous at all? No, I don't. Really? Yes, really. Well then, what's this? I don't know! <laughs> I mean, seriously, what's with you people? I'm blind! I mean, look, she I really shouldn't be drawing attention the to them. Away. And they're pretending to be Fire Nation. Are you Colonial. proud of this? Where did you get that? It doesn't matter where I got it. The fact is, you went through my stuff. You had no right. <laughs> Your stuff was messy, and I was just straightening up, and I happened to stumble. Damn, are these two really go at it, man. You're lying, Katara. <laughs> two strong females, man. That's what happens. But you've been so out of control lately. I knew something was up. I knew you were hiding something, and you were. Don't you walk away from me <laughs> while I'm talking to you. Oh, really, Mom? Or what are you going to do? <laughs> Send me to my room? I wish I could. Well, you can't. Because you're not my mom and you're not their mom. Fucking, I like this though. I never said I was. She's never dealt no, with having like a. Act like it. You think it's your job to boss everyone around, but it's not. You're just a regular kid like the rest of us. She so wants. Stop acting like you can tell nah, she wants to. Do. I think she I wants to. Whatever I want. She wants to live up to her mom, man. She really holds her mom dear. Sokka, do I act motherly? <laughs> hey, I'm staying out of this one. What do you? He's think? close to his dad. Do She's very close mom? to the mom. Well, I 
away. Stop rubbing your eye and speak clearly when you talk. <laughs> you know, I can't be around you right now. What a mother goose, man. I can't be around you. <laughs> but I like that, man. I, I like that fiery temper in Katara. Why can't we just get along? See, Katara does it with class. Katara does a fiery temper with class. Hey, Toph hey, does it in a fucking juvenile. I've got an idea. Sure. I'm gonna send a note to Katara. <laughs> it's from Tom, who wants to apologize. Then oh we'll God! Again. I gotta say, Sokka, you continue to impress me with your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that is Zach. <laughs> Sorry. Here Phil, that's Katara. Zach. Sorry for everything, your friend. This is jokes, man. I could, I could have all episodes like this, man. Fuck it. <laughs> And writing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot completely. Yeah, well, how would she have a hard time if she can't fucking write? I guess plan B is we send a note to Tom pretending it's from Katara. I think we're gonna run into a similar problem. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this without your help. Shit. But come on, we need to talk. Uh, hold on a second. When he showed her the poster. Okay, Lana, no, no, maybe I'm mis misremembering that. Bloody hell, man. Let me guess. You brought me out here to tell me your sister is not as annoying as I make her out to be. Nah, she's not. Why did he good. show the post? <laughs> she's always got to be right about everything, and she gets all bossy and involved and in your business. Yeah, I don't know how you can deal with it. Uh. Actually, in a way, I rely on it. I don't understand. When our mom died, that was the hardest time in my life. Mm. Our family was a mess. But Katara, she had so much strength. The glue, man. She stepped up and took on so much responsibility. She's the glue. She helped fill the void that was left by her mom. I guess I never thought about that. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. At crazy. least you got parents. I never told anyone this before. But honestly, I'm not sure I can remember what my mother looked like. Fuck. It really seems like my whole life, Katara's been the one looking out for me. Uh. She's always been the one that's there. And now, that's what I like when about I try it. to remember my mom. Katara's is the only face I can picture. Oh, that's, see, that's a compliment. Sometimes Katara's does act motherly, but that's not always a bad thing. She's compassionate and kind, and she actually cares about me. Yeah. You know, the real me. Ah. That's more than my own mom. Shit, Katara knows that. Katara's like proper wife of material. Hey, my lips are sealed. It's really refreshing to see they have forced romances on her. Like, even with the whole Ang and, and the Katara thing. Um, I wanna... Katara, stop. You don't need to apologize. I was <laughs> the one being stupid. These scams are out of control, and I'm done with them. You, you got Actually, plenty of stacks, man. I wasn't going to apologize. I was gonna say, I wanna pull a scam with you. Oh, come on, man. I call that. You wanna pull a scam? <laughs> Not just any scam. Live dangerous. The ultimate scam. <laughs> <laughs> just, me just me and you. One last wow, one. man. She was a little bit of danger in her life. I'm in. Now, what's this idea of yours? <laughs> That's such a cute pairing. <laughs> Katara and them actually friendly is a cute pairing. This wanted poster says you're worth a lot of money. Ten times more than you've made in all your scams. Shit. So I'm going to turn you in and collect a reward. Ah, oh, so that explains it. Out of jail and we're on our way. You think that's going to be that easy? <laughs> Damn, look at these, you do this to me. You betrayed me. You brought this on yourself. I had no choice. This is the first time I'm seeing a female warrior army, man. Like an all-female squad. You did the right thing by turning in the runaway. The right thing is its own reward. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear you say that. But I still want the actual reward. <laughs> of course, right this way. Oh god, I think they're gonna fucking. They're not going to give her the reward, are they? We'll see if they're people of honor. These are Amazonians, man. A fucking Wonder Woman. Hey, what kind of cell is this? A wooden one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Caught on to it. Caught on to it. It's like giving Superman a lead that's prison. Her. That's the girl you were looking <laughs> lead for. Lead line prison. Oh my days! 
Fuck, look at this guy, man. Like, that close. To... <laughs> you think the scavenger should be taking this long? This guy is one step ahead of all these. Same thing. We better check it out. You two behave. Opposite in charge. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm far, man. I was keeping him in check. Wait, it's a trap. Really? No kidding. Is that why we're sitting in a wooden cage right now? Gee, how'd you figure out it was a trap? Not for us, Katara. We're the bait. He wants eggs. Oh, I can't believe I was so stupid. See, this is exactly <laughs> why I'm against these scams. I knew this would happen. But this was your idea. No, I wanted to show you that I'm not so motherly. I wanted to show you that I can have fun too. Ah, oh, you don't need to. Tara, Force it. You are fun. If nothing else, you're at least fun to argue with. <laughs> I know your relationship with your parents is complicated, and I shouldn't have said what I said. It's okay. I was really mad when you said that because, well, because maybe it's true. Uh. I try not to think about it, but when I left. I probably really hurt them. Yeah, man. Where do you think they might be? Where do you think anyone is? <laughs> Fuck, look at him, man. Prosthetic leg, prosthetic arm. What's his history, man? Or maybe he doesn't need history. Fuck. <laughs> Explosions could happen. <laughs> this guy, man. Does he even speak? Fuck, look at that. I love the way they, they fucking emphasized when you in the hills. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I wish we had some earth or water. We need bendable. You know what's like crazy? She's so powerful with earth, but as soon as you put wood in the way. I was worried they'd take it. Is it no no wood benders? It's gotta be. If I can burn it, that shit down, but... Are you okay? Just fine. Well, what are you doing? I'm making my own water. Oh, wow, that's sweat. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that is smart. I like it. Katara, you're a genius. A sweaty, stinky genius. <laughs> sweaty, stinky genius. See, even that fucking exhale is fucking powerful, man. That ex sorry, that inhale is more manly than fucking half the beta mills today, man. This guy is too good. He shoots fire from his brain. <laughs> we should split up. He can't chase us both. He must be a crazy good firebending master, man. Crazy good. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> this is so anime. Like legit, this is so fucking anime right now. I love it. <laughs> fucking ice block. Let's get out of here. This guy's like fucking Mr. X or fucking Titan Nemesis or some shit, man. <laughs> he's, and he's got fucking eye and some part of his body. <laughs> Just like Capcom bosses. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. Fucking hit his third eye. What the? Hey, nice. I got it. The perfect name for that guy. Combustion Man. What? Good job, Sokka. Now let's get out of here before Combustion Man. Combustion Man. It fits so well. <laughs> that is so awesome, man. This guy's a force. He's only one man. That's the thing. Oh, I'm exhausted. Hockey, how about you, buddy? Yeah, you're such a lazy little bird. Katara, I need your help. Okay. Get a message? Back to the what parents? Is I need you to write some things down for me. I want to send a letter to my parents. Nice. I'll be happy to help. If they... Okay. I'm worried that this might get intercepted, man. <laughs> Fuck. 
Like, I, I was worried that maybe they'll end, he'll, uh, that guy will end up using, Combustion Man will end up using um, uh, bait, bait or hostages. Her parents maybe, I don't know. Depends. But nah, that's a bit, I'm thinking too far ahead. <laughs> Alright guys, that was good. I, it started off as one of those fun, jokey episodics, but this guy now, his presence in this show is like constant threat. So just as, like, they're having fun. Boom, this guy fucking turns up and just wrecks shit. And it's like he's had he's got a free pass to do all this shit. Like, he's got like, like here's what I don't understand. Like, I know he's going around wrecking shop and, and doing that. But his deal was with uh his deal was with Zuko, right? Um so there has to be an element of him keeping things on the D low, right? He can't just waltz into a town and just wreck shit and people questioning what he's doing. But he, I guess he's so powerful and he's, he just doesn't speak. Right? There's no chance of it spilling out that this is what we're doing and, and exposing like so openly that they're chasing around trying to fight. Uh, particularly the Avatar who's, who's, who is dead. For all intents and purposes is dead. And this guy knows that he's alive. But he's doing things so openly and crazy. Like, I'm, someone's going to question what the hell is he doing. Who is he going after? You know what I mean? But I, I, I guess it's, it's like where he is right now. There's, they're, they're too busy with other stuff because they're not worried about Avatar being alive or anyone like that. Interesting though, man. See how this goes and see fucking who's going to be able to take this dude down, man. Who's going to take this fucking dude down? We'll see, man. But yeah, let's get into the next episode. Man. We are on episode 8. Now, even though my my the the, the episodes, the, the files, right, have the name, the title of the episodes on them, I just tend not to look at them because I don't want to know what to expect going in. I know I watched the previously on Avatar, but I'm fine with that because that's a good introduction to what, what might be in there. But I don't want to read the title or know it, knowing it and that kind of thing. So it's always a surprise. So when I start the episode, it says the Avatar was the Fire Lord. I'm, I'm thinking, shit, Aang versus uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, Ozai. But nah, it, it was a flashback. So it's a good surprise that way. I can still be surprised. Avatar, book three, episode eight. Come on. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> Katara. What a great fucking character Katara is. What a great female fucking character Katara is. Look how graceful she is, man. See, the, the key to creating a good female character is handling vulnerability carefully. Not turn into a Sakura fucking uh, bleed, a wet towel. Oh, Sasuke! Sasuke! Crying over everyone, you know what I mean? Obviously, on Avatar. So You're looking at the only waterbender in the Fuck, man. Look at the old animation. So simple. This ship has haunted my tribe since Grand Grand was It has before. improved. It was part of the Fire Nation's first attack. Yeah. The legends say the moon was the first waterbender. Oh, Our ancestors saw how it pushed and pulled the tides and learned how to do it themselves. Mm. I've always noticed my waterbending is stronger at night. Nice. What are you ah. doing? I'm making my own water. I love how they tied that into that, to that moment last episode. The Puppet Master? Puppet Master? Interesting. The Moon Summer. <clears throat> this is going to look like a horror. Something down the hall in the dark. <laughs> That looked like something like Ghibli for a second. And they knew the blade of wing fun was haunted! <laughs> I think I liked the man with the sword for a hand better. Water tribe summer parties must stink. <clears throat> no, wait, I've got one. And this is a true southern water tribe story. Is this one of a friend of my cousin knew some guy that this happened to stories? <laughs> no. It happened to mom. Banta. Fuck, man. One you just bought the tone down. Mom was a girl. A snowstorm buried the whole village <coughs> for weeks. A 
month later, Mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. Nini. So Mom and some others went to check on Nini's family. When they got there, no one was home. Just a fire flickering in the fireplace. Shh. While the men went out to search, Mom stayed in the house. When she was alone, she heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't get warm. Wow. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. She was blue, like she was frozen. Fuck. Mom ran outside for help. <laughs> but when everyone came back, Nini was gone. Where'd she go? No one knows. Nini's house stands empty to this day. Oh, shit. But sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. Like little Nini is still trying to get warm. And fuck you far away from wherever this, this is meant to take place. Wait. Guys, did you hear that? I hear people under the mountain. <laughs> and they're screaming. Under the mountain? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I hear something. You're probably just jumpy from the ghost stories. It just stopped. All right. What's going on? I'm getting scared. <laughs> this is jokes. <laughs> I love that. I love that shot. Who the hell is this? Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. You children shouldn't be out in the forest by yourselves at night. I have an inn nearby. Why don't you come back there for some spiced tea? And what water? are you doing strolling around here, old lady? Yes, please. <laughs> they, maybe they're causing a bit of a ruckus for her. Little yes. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight. You have a lovely inn. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? You know, you should be careful. People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. Is this going to be a haunted in episode? When the moon turns full, <laughs> people walk in and they don't come out. <laughs> I've seen the Gintama episode last. Who wants more tea? <laughs> God damn, man. Don't worry, you'll all be completely safe here. Why don't I show you to your rooms? Fortunately, the moon gives us strength. <laughs> so whatever comes... Katara can handle it. Nah, my man's hair looking dope. His bed hair is dope as well. I know, Momo. This place is creepy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> Love it. Damn. Wakey, wakey. Time to go shopping. Shopping. <laughs> God damn, what's going on? <laughs> he hasn't used his sword yet since the episode. I want to see him use it. That Mr. Yao seems to have a thing for you. Maybe we should go back and see if he'll give us some free Komodo sausages. You would have me use my feminine charms to take advantage of that poor man? I think you and I are going to get along so Wow. <laughs> but Katar wouldn't do that. Bananas till next week. <laughs> well, I have to send the boy to Hainwa Island to get them, and it's a two-day trip. Oh, right. Tomorrow's the full moon. Exactly. Yeah. I can't lose another delivery boy in the woods. People disappearing in the woods? Weird Damn. stuff during full moons? This just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. <laughs> I bet if we take a little walk around town, we'll find out what these people did to the environment to make the spirits mad. What? Well, did they necessarily do something? <laughs> Is that the only time they go rogue? That's what I do. Why don't you all take those things back to the inn? I just have to run a couple more errands. I'll be back in a little while. This is a mysterious little town you have here. <laughs> mysterious town for mysterious children. <laughs> Creepy old lady vibe. <laughs> God damn, she's got something to do with it, man. That Hama seems a little strange. Like she knows something. Or she's hiding something. What if she's That's a spirit? <laughs> she's a nice woman who took us in and gave us a place to stay. She kind of reminds me of Grand Grand. What, what did she mean by that comment, mysterious children? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because she found four strange kids camping in the woods at night? Yeah. Isn't that a little mysterious? The way she rolled up on them. Take a look around. It's mysterious. <laughs> no fear. Sokka, what are you doing? You can't just snoop around someone's house. <laughs> Sokka, don't give a fuck. Be home any minute. Sokka, you're gonna get us all in trouble. And this is just plain rude. I'm not finished yet. Come on! 
Oh shit! Okay, Dad. Damn. So she's got a hobby. There's nothing weird about that. This is um, a little bit like a uh, Junji Ito, one of Junji Ito's stories Just from. Uh, puppet loving innkeeper, huh? Then why does she have a locked door up here? Probably to keep <laughs> people like you from snooping through her stuff. We'll see. It's empty except for a little chest. Maybe it's treasure. <laughs> She loves that what treasure. What are you doing? You're breaking into a private room. I have to see what's in there. We shouldn't be doing this. Maybe there's one, what, another little puppet Maybe in there or something. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. They they made the music make it sound like a music box, but it possibly might not be a music box. Come on, come on. Or, or would it? This isn't as easy as it looks. Guys, ding, ding, ding. I don't know about this. Is there a tiny this puppet in there? I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it, Tom. <laughs> There's a fucking avoid fetus there. <laughs> I'll tell you what's in the box. Fuck. A comb? A comb? What? An old comb? <laughs> it's my greatest treasure. Okay. It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. Oh, shit! Water Tribe! You're from the Southern Water Tribe? God damn, she's seen a few things. Just that. like you. How did you know? The first war, the first invasion. Your campfire. But why didn't you tell us? I wanted to surprise you. I bought all this food today so I could fix you a big Water Tribe dinner. Okay. Of course, I can't get all the ingredients I need here, but... Ocean kumquats are unlocked like the sea prunes if you stew them long enough. Uh-huh. Great. I knew I felt a bond with you right away. And I knew you were keeping a secret, so I guess we're both right. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm sorry we were sneaking out. <clears throat> Apology accepted. Now let's get cooking. What has she been doing here so far from home? I mean, I just set up an inn and everything, but... Looks, she looks like she's alone. <laughs> Little cabbage. I'd steer clear of the sea prunes. prunes. I thought they were ocean kumquats. <laughs> Close enough. That's <laughs> five flavor soup. Oh wow! Love it. You're a waterbender. I've never met another waterbender from our tribe. Yeah. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. Back I then, right? The last one. So how did you end up out here? Yeah. I was stolen from my home. Whoa. It was over 60 years ago when Whoa. the raid started. <laughs> oh, shit. This is interesting. So it makes sense because she said Grand Grand remembers the first invasion, the first thing. And now we get to see that fight. And what was the outcome? Shit, man. They were so prominent. Like, benders were like so prominent in their tribe. Again. Each time rounding up more of our water benders and taking Shit. Nice there. But our numbers dwindled as the raids continued. Shit. The last waterbender of that of that village. Finally, I too was captured. Fuck! I was led away in chains. Fuck! The last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. Oh man! Damn man! How many generations um, was it until Katara was born? Presence here in the Fire Nation. I was the only one Two who managed to escape. How did you get away? And why did you stay in the Fire Nation? I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about anymore. Fuck, We completely man. understand. We lost our mother in a raid. Oh, you poor things. God damn. I can't tell you what it means to meet you. It's an honor. You're a hero. Shit, man. I never thought I'd meet another Southern Waterbender. 
I'd like to teach you what I know so you can carry on the southern nice. tradition when I'm gone. Hopefully Katara reaches yes. good old age. Yes, of course. To learn about my heritage it would mean everything. To Shit, me. man. That's awesome, man. The thing they find out here. Waterbenders are totally at home surrounded by snow and ice and mm. seas. But as you've probably noticed on your travels, that isn't the case wherever you go. Mm. I know. When we were stranded in the desert, I felt like there was almost nothing I could do. That's she... why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. She did kind of did. Use my own sweat, sweat yeah. Spending. That's very resourceful, Katara. You're thinking like a true master. Mm. But did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? I mean, humidity as well, like... You've got to keep an open mind. Fuck. There's water in places you never think about. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can think of that the wrong way. It's got to be the nicest natural setting in the Fire Nation. I don't see anything that would make a spirit mad around here. Maybe the moon spirit just turned me. The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. She rules the sky with compassion. You would know. Lunar goodness. <laughs> Lunar goodness. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell us anything about the spirit that's been stealing people? <laughs> I'm man so. I love this lived. guy. And that's old man Dean. Where does He's so old straightforward. Dean live? Wow. These flowers are beautiful. They're called fire lilies. They only bloom a few weeks a year. Fire lilies. But they're one of my favorite things about living here. And like all plants and all living things, they're filled with water. Yeah. I met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further. Even further? Pull it out of life. Oh, shit. She's devastating, man. Can you imagine? Kill, yeah, like you could kill people pulling water out of them. I was thinking that right now. In a strange land. You do what you must to survive. Fuck. Tonight I'll teach you the ultimate technique of water bending. Oh. It can only be done during the full moon. I can imagine. The bending is at its peak. But isn't that dangerous? I thought people have been disappearing around here during the full moon. Oh, good job. Oh, shit. Two master water benders beneath a full moon? I don't think we is have anything to Is she part of it? Are people going missing but she's experimenting? I don't want to think badly of her, man. Especially with what she went through. Old man Ding? Huh? But she's living behind enemy lines, though, so. What? Can't you see I'm busy? A metaphor, fire lilies, and she's dragged the war out of them and they all died. It's a metaphor for, I guess, what she thinks about the Fire Nation. She's trying to get her revenge on people? Oh. Well, if you hurt. Not ready to get snapped up by some moon monster here today. <laughs> some moon monster. We wanted to ask you about that. Did you get a good look at the spirit that took you? Didn't see no spirit. Just felt something come over me, like I was possessed. Possessed. Forced me to start walking toward the mountain. I tried to fight it, but I couldn't control my own limbs. Do you think she's controlling, Just pulling the water? Me into a cave up there. Like the water inside people, our bodies what nine percent like what? what? Thought would be my last glimpse of so she was compelling them almost. But then the sun started to rise, and I got control of myself again. Yes. I just yep. hightailed it away from that mountain as quick as I could. Uh, they're stronger at night. Spirit want to take people to a mountain. Wow. Oh. Do you I think she's vengeance? Screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. You think she's holding a grudge still? Because of what happened to her. I wonder if that's the case, man. Fuck, my guess was at the beginning as well. Right. What if she's the spirit? Hear them. They're this way. Shit. Can you feel the power the full moon brings? Fuck. For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow, Fuck. allowing us to do incredible things. See, this is why, man. It's... I've never felt more alive. This is a cautionary tale right now about how devastating it could be when Sozin's comments come back around. I like, can't see anything down there. No one should have that much power. Let's go. Or no one nation should have that much power, you know, that monopoly. 
look her like. And now that she can like kind of do that metal bending thing, I like how she can open the metal door. I didn't know that spirits made prisons like this. Who brought you here? It was no spirit. It was a witch. A witch? A witch. What do you mean? Nope. She seems like a normal old woman. Oh. She controls people like some dark puppet master. The master. The war in people's bodies. Yes, the innkeeper. I knew there was something creepy about her. We have to stop Hama. I'll get these people out of here. Why does she keep puppets Look around? And made to look like yes. Fire Nation civil like citizens. Like just the puppets, just to add the creep factor. I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison. Yeah. She, she's the guards were vengeance. always careful to keep any water away from us. They piped in dry air and had us suspended away from the ground before giving us any water. They would bind our hands and feet so we couldn't bend. Fuck, man. Any sign of trouble was met with cruel. I don't blame her, man. And yet each month I felt the full moon enriching me with its energy. There had to be something I could do to escape. Then I realized that where there is life, there is water. The yeah. rats that scurried across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. And I oh. spent years developing the skin Damn, to do this? To my escape. Shit. Blood bending. Blood bending. Controlling the water in another body. Body, yeah. And forcing your own will over there. Fuck. Once I had mastered the rats, I was ready for the men. Fuck, man, savage. This took a dark turn, man. And during the next full moon, Pop it, mistress. I walked Ask me her. for the first time in decades. That is Myself awesome. Unlocked by the very guards assigned to keep the me. dark side of water bending. Once you perfect this technique, you can control anything. Fuck. Or Anyone. Is it Katara or fucking to reach inside someone and control them? I don't know if I want that kind of power. The choice is not yours. Fuck. The power exists. And it's your duty to use the gifts you've been given to win this war. Man. Katara. They tried to wipe us out our entire country. She's carrying the, the grudge. I know. Shit. Then you should understand what I'm talking about. We're the last waterbenders of the Southern Tribe. Yeah. We have to fight these people whenever we can. Fight your fucking extinction. Wherever they are with any means necessary. Rock them out. Wherever they are. You. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moon. Yeah, but listen they to her. They threw me in prison to a rot. Fuck. Along with my brothers and sisters. Look at the animation. They deserve the same. You must carry Fuck. on. Fuck, look at that face. I won't. She's I a badass. Bending, and I won't allow you to I've never seen no badass old chick except for Gio Basama from Naruto. This is the first time I've seen like a badass old lady, man. You should have learned the technique before you turned against me. Oh. It's impossible to fight your way out of my grip. I control every muscle, every vein in your fucking body. Fucking hell. This is such a fucking dope episode. Love it. Talking to Katara as well. Basama. <laughs> Look at her power, man. This totally did not turn out how I expected this episode. <laughs> what a great fucking villain she is. Look at that. She sees the same look in her eyes, eh? It's all fun. not the only one who draws power from Oh you. shit, My man. My bending is more powerful than yours, Hama. The Your last... Is useless on me. It's like the last waterbender versus the last waterbender of her time. <laughs> shit. Shit, man. I don't know. Look how fucking veteran she is. I know she's old, and I know the old are, like, not as, you know, good. It's like what happened to fucking uh, Roku. Ah, oh, man. Shit. My power is good. The age got to her, man. We know what you've been doing, Hama. Give up. You're outnumbered. I'm more of an no. age before beauty kind of guy, man. Like you Rocky. Outnumbered yourselves. Oh shit, man. I bet Ang did not know what the fuck it is. <laughs> wow, she pulled the fucking wall from the tree. Look at her. Oh shit, man. This one was in Stardust. There was a there was a 
the scene in the movie Stardust Lights. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my days, man. Look how fucking. Look at her, man. This is say, one of my favorite episodes. One of, one of my favorite episodes. Don't hurt your friends, Katara. And don't let them hurt. Of all three seasons, my favorite episode is this. <laughs> that is insane. All time of greatness. Man, this has been animated so fucking well, man. Man, this is such a tragedy. Wait forever. My work is done. My work is done. Congratulations, Katana. She's passed on the gift. You're a bloodbender. <laughs> now, if some if somebody does something fucking over the crazy, I, I don't know, killing Ang or killing someone she loves, she will fucking lose her shit now that she knows it. Fuck, man. What a tragedy. What a fucking, what grim that fucking episode. Tim Hedrick, man. Tim Hedrick writes the good shit. Tim Hedrick, I swear Tim Hedrick wrote six. I swear I saw Tim Hedrick's fucking stuff on six. Look how fucking grim that was, man. Look how fucking dark that was. She was the last of her fucking, fucking, her, her time. And then now two generations, two, three generations later, fucking... She passed on blood bending. You know what I mean? Like where water bending becomes blood bending, or uh, 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 in a way, earth bending becomes metal bending. It evolves. It can evolve, man. And they're still at the tip of the iceberg for this this new wave of bending. You know what I mean? Even sand bending is something that feels like new and fresh, right? That is insane. What if they make a sequel with this, these new versions of bending, sand bending, blood bending? Just a dark future where this shit's going down, man. That was so good. That was from, you know what? I said top three episodes, episode six. And this happened in season one, where everyone is saying that fucking episode where you find out about Zuko and his backstory, blah, 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 was the best. And then it was followed up, I think, one after the other, with an episode I liked even more. This has happened again. Six is the, the exposition episode that everyone says is amazing, amazing. It's now been followed up one after the other with fucking an episode I like even more. That was so fucking good, man. That was such a good fucking episode. I love it. I love when they subvert. Like, they could have made this a sympathetic. Oh, I'm the old lady. Or she could have passed in her arms. Or I give now to you all the things I've learned. And Katara gets bolstered. This took a dark twist. Where she's been so conditioned. And so much rage and hatred. And locked up and treated like shit. By like Fire Nation. That she just held the grudge, man. And Katara like rolled up on her and she got what she wanted. That reminded me of fucking uh, Baron Zemo, man. Baron Zemo in C fucking Civil, um, uh, Civil War. Yeah. And in the end, he kind of got what he wanted, man. Fuck, man. That was such a great fucking episode. My, that was easily my, my top three episodes. Easily. Easily. That was so good. Katara gets development. Katara doesn't get development quite the way you think. That development can actually be a, a form of regression in a way. Like she was in tears that, like, you know, she now she knows what it is to know it. Now she's got it within her to do that to someone. You know what I mean? And now she loses her rag, which I hope she doesn't because she's got that, like, she's the heart of this show. That would be such a tragedy, man. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, subscribe on your Twitter. Details below, fucking Discord deal below. Join that Discord, man. Talk about that, that, that episode, that reaction, all that good shit, man. Click that fucking icon and bar, right? Subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Fucking, I, I'm gonna go straight to Twitter now. Fucking tweet that shit out, man. Fucking greatness. Peace out, guys.